what do you do especially somebody is telling sir this patient is coughing some patient somebody is telling this patient is repeatedly continuing to have fever so when do you really send testing when do you categorize the patient yes this patient needs testing now please arrange for testing what are the categories presently you follow what are the categories the government has advised for sending a sample for testing murthy sir good evening everyone we are running through a difficult phase throughout the country and what dr kanagavelu has asked me is a common thing which everybody faces in today's practice the thing is we run a covid positive hospital so for me whatever patient which comes to me is already proved positive now in the same scenario if somebody is coming with a complaints which he has told either in the form of a cough or a sore throat or a fever most of these are supposed to be as innocuous and as simple as any other viral thing which we would not have uh, cared for if it was not a covid position but keeping the covid thing into view any patient who is coming with such symptomatology the correct line of protocol for managing these will be to isolate these patients number 1 number 2 to ask them to undergo the required mandatory testing to rule out the probability of a covid we we treat all these patients in the category of a suspect and uh, though the fever cough can be due to various hundred reasons but in the present scenario everybody should view these individuals as a suspect and then and then take the testing until one proves to be negative the individual has to be secluded in a safe place in the hospital or in a quarantine at his home if he is stable enough or best is to keep him in a secluded room subject the individual for testing and basically the true nat where your results are very uh, fast within about 2 to 3 hours you can get a positive result whether it is yes or no and based on that your line of action should start thank you sir then the next important thing is what are the formalities now they say only a doctor can give a prescription for doing a test the icmr has already given one form so that yes. Yes, uh, can you please ICMR. highlight what are the documentation one should be doing before going ahead or asking for a test yeah very correct i think for those people who are really not aware um, the icmr has laid down an excellent guideline and they have given out an icmr specimen referral form for covid testing in the form of sars cov2 and this form is called the form 6 and the form 6 is a very illustrious self explanatory giving all the details pertaining to the patient and the first mandatory requirement for an individual is to fill up this form before we subject the individual for testing and this form basically has two components a component a and a component b and the component a is divided into again 1 2 3 4 criteria and a component b has 1 2 3 <laughs> so these are the criteria where the patient particulars his personal details and national identity which includes the aadhar card and for the benefit of everyone aadhar card has become the the crux of the identification of a patient in this particular um covid screening uh the the icr form is being shown for the benefit of everyone and this has to be meticulously filled with no mistakes and then once it is completed we have the icr icmr portal it has to be entered into the icmr portal and then only we subject the individual for the testing and that is the throat swab collection or the nasopharyngeal whichever which whichever we are doing in over here we do the true nat 
as a fast means of testing the individual. So we go for a throat swab with, by using the VLM kits and then we label them and then put them for testing and run through them for a process to get the results in about two to two and a half hours. So these, the ICMR form is self-explanatory to one and all. That is a mandatory requirement to be filled up, to be linked with the Aadhaar. Thank you, sir. Those points are well taken. Now we move on to the next important issue. Uh, can I ask I, one question, can we? Please, sir. sir, please, sir. You're doing this uh, true net right now. Suppose if the true net comes positive, do you reconfirm it that year or you just treat this patient with based on the uh, Absolutely. true net? Absolutely. The, the inference is the true net, true net, true net will be either positive or negative. Yeah. And if it is negative, it is to be read as 100% negative with very high degree of sensitivity and specificity of the test. Yes. If it is positive, if yes. it is positive, it could be positive, it yes. may not be positive. Positive, yes. But if it is positive, the true net has a grading of strong, medium, low, and very low. Yes. Once the true net says something of this category, then the individual has to be referred to the center where the RT-PCR facility is there because that is supposed to be the gold standard to say yes or no about the positivity of the patient. Absolutely. Most of the patients with our, who are true net positive may not be positive at the RT-PCR. And this depends upon the viral load, especially when you're trying to do a pool sample, which is not in the case which we discussed, Yes. When you are doing contact sampling or a community sampling, at times you get a pool samples. In such cases, we go for the RT-PCR. And in this case, as the doubt has been raised, it is the RT-PCR which, uh, which uh, clears the doubt about whether it is positive or negative. Till that time, this individual has to be secluded and to be called as a strong suspect. Very good information. Actually, this is very, very important because all of us are because in the process of getting it fast, because we want to get the report fast, we're getting the true net done, especially for emergency surgeries and all. But actually, once it gets confirmed, we have to get a confirmation from RTPCR. Very good. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Brigadier. Thank you so much. But please, can I, speak I, I would like to add one more thing. In the present days, the government of Andhra Pradesh and throughout the country also, they have allowed us to go one the step two in the true net which okay. is a confirmatory test, which we can run at the hospital level like we are doing over here. Whenever you are stuck with such a dilemma, you can go in for the step two test, 